so uh, I got two axes I haven't I don't think I've shown these on video and I know uh, well I haven't shown this one but it's been a while for this one I might have even deleted the videos because that was back when my videos were so low quality even more low quality <laughs> so this is a two-piece rafter really cool axe and it's on the wrong handle I have to say it should be on a straight handle so that's gonna change soon uh, but you know what this is not bad for not knowing what I was doing with the fawn's foot the sweep isn't too bad I, I call this the sweep I call that the sweep this is the thickness and this is really important so it should be pretty thin and then it should gradually taper up and it doesn't need to be super thick you would you would be surprised how thin it can be it just has to be thicker then around here goes up 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 so <laughs> so yeah uh, a strange a strange axe not i don't think anybody knows what this is they've never seen anything like it a two-piece where the hardened steel is all the way up to the eye and uh the other axe i got to show you guys is something i've literally never swung before and that's because it's uh well it's a special one this is a uh, Plum Victory with the weight stamp, the 3-2. Very cool axe. I mean, I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Uh, profile, not bad. It's a little worn, probably. A little worn. But a uh, beautiful axe. I really love it. Uh, it has pinholes in it. Three on this side. And one on this side. I don't even, that doesn't even match up if you look. <laughs> this one doesn't match up. Those ones don't match up to anything. But yeah, the, look at the paint on this thing. This is cool. I almost cut myself. This thing is cool. I didn't even clean it up too well. I just left it almost as is. Um, one of my coolest pieces. Probably my best double bit that I found at the flea market. So let's do a little bucking. This is a piece of a. Uh, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I've identified that wood. Well, life behind the axe helped identify this wood for me. He thinks it's basswood. I'm pretty positive it's basswood too, now that he told me. Uh, that's stuff that I've had for the last couple of videos, basswood. Which is really cool for carving. Very nice wood for carving. Not the easiest wood to split. You'd imagine it's easier to split. It isn't the easiest to split, I would say. Not when it comes to like ha halving it halving howling so yeah this is a piece of crotch wood um wow that's stuck piece of crotch wood this is the first time i've ever swung this axe because i thought it was so special i don't want to ruin the paint um but we could get a few swings in so yeah underneath this or right here you can see the crotch you can see the crotch i hope uh, so it doesn't do any, you, you're basically doing nothing here. <laughs> Maybe we could pop this chip already. I've been working on this for a long time. Let's move the microphone. Microphone's always in the way. I don't know how people hide their microphones well. I'm too sweaty to hide my microphone with tape like a, like a professional too sweaty especially oh my god when it gets hot outside i'm gonna be up i'm gonna be just pouring you could you could if if there was like a some kind of emergency and you're in the desert you would just put like something under my fat belly and it would waterfall my sweat and you would have to drink my disgusting sweat i'm sorry when it comes to drinking dis uh, disgusting sweat you want the least amount of travel so you want to get it right where it comes out right where the pores Okay, <laughs> let's try the other bit. Ooh, that one feels better. Let's see if the profile's... Yeah, you know what? You can see. This one's keener. So, of course, it's going to it's gonna stick more than this one. I hope you can see. Interesting. So, this is the one I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying more. It's probably the dirty edge. It looks shorter. Actually, it's more worn. I can tell. It is more worn. Or is it? Yeah, I think so. 
so it'll pop the chip a little better but it won't penetrate quite as deeply and hopefully it'll stick a little less <laughs> I really love double bits because uh, they're just so balanced it's really a pleasure to use a double bit not to hear someone talk about uh, drinking sweat in an emergency situation but you know the double bit axe I think will help you it's, it'll in an emergency grab a double bit axe and kill me before I start talking about sweat <laughs> that'll that'll be an emergency axe it's even red so this is what I hate about uh, painted axes is the red the paint will just come right off I don't know if you can see it but a little bit of paint right here this chip is just a dastardly dastardly little piece of wood I just want to get it already oh it's coming I'm able to get it from the side that it doesn't have the crotch so this is the less kind of wonky grain I have to get this chip before I end the video oh so close you guys ever try to chop wood like this it's basically just for target practice <laughs> try to rip the not gonna happen let's try the other axe this doesn't have as good of a profile it wasn't sharpened very well it's unevenly sharpened <sighs> it looks okay though <sighs> okay oh look at that haha <laughs> I mean, I've been chopping away at this for like, it's probably taking 45 minutes to get this chip to pop. <laughs> Gnarly. Gnarly chip. You can see the some of the crotch. Or, you know what? This might be uh, damage. That might be where a uh, limb came off. It might be, yeah. Looking at it again. So, the, you can see the grain tried to form around it so instead of uh, growth rings going up and down they're going all over the place to try to correct these problems and seal that uh, wound up so maybe we could get down maybe we could buck this in half yeah you know what now it's like uh, now the chips releasing wow this is the best this is the best this has ever performed. I don't know if I said it before. I was trying to say it. I used this in pine and it wasn't too good. Well, I don't think it was thin enough. But uh, now it's now it's not too bad. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah, it's popping them. I just had to get past that uh, that wound. Whoops, that was a mess. This is a real, this is a real triumph right here. I mean, I've been hacking away at this thing. Should we finish it with the double? I didn't think I was going to be <laughs> popping this chip <laughs> for this video. Oh yeah. It's almost in half. Whoops. There 
There we go. Hey, bud. Dog's right there. Woo! I've done it. I've done it. This is the wound I was talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Some special uh, vintage axe. Axe is being used, and you can get some sweat off me right now. I'm so sorry to hear that again. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys.